I'm meteorologist John Marshall. Happy last weekend of summer, and it will feel every bit of like summer in the immediate metropolitan area, but folks, the tropics continue to be uh, heated up. We have Hurricane Jose. We're watching that uh, between Bermuda and the Bahamas. We have a disturbance east of the islands that has uh, signs of organization, and then we have tropical depression number 14, which is off the Africa coast. This is the peak of hurricane season, and no wonder. I mean, this has just been an active, active time. We've had Harvey and Irma uh, with all the devastation. And now we have to watch Jose. These two systems, east of the islands, we'll watch them as well. But the immediate concern is Jose. And Jose, Jose right now is a, a minimal hurricane. It did, you know, when Irma made landfall through Cuba and the islands and through southern Florida, it was passing north of the northern leeward islands. So this storm right now did a loop-de-loop. -loop. It's heading northwest. And folks, here's the United States. Here's Florida. Here's the southeast. So we're going to watch this storm uh, take a turn more toward the north. And there are a couple elements that are going to steer it. It's been very weak, the steering currents with Jose, over the last couple of uh, days and actually weeks throughout uh, the western Atlantic. But closer to home, beautiful day here. Folks, a couple things of no uh, that a meteorologist hopefully will notice, and I am noticing it right now. There's a huge ridge of high pressure located over the eastern seaboard. This trough will not interact with anything to do with Jose at all. What's happening is we have an upper level high that is off, uh, well off the east coast, and this usually sets up shop August and September during hurricane season and steers the storm mostly on a westerly course, and most of them do go out to sea. The big question is, how does Jose track? Winds of 80 miles an hour. Right now the storm is 550 miles south-southeast of Cape Hatteras in North Carolina. The storm should intensify slightly as the water temperatures out here are within a few degrees of 82, 83. They feed off that warm water, and you guys know this through the last couple of weeks with all these hurricanes that have been around. The high pressure system nudges it to the northwest, then it takes a turn to the north. Really nothing affecting it coming out of the west. There may be a very weak trough or a trough that will grab the upper levels of this very, very slight, uh, but it really won't make a difference in the steering currents. Basically, the high is going to give away slowly and allow that northerly turn. Here's the million dollar question. Where does that northerly turn happen? If it happens like it's supposed to and most of the computer guidance suggests, the immediate New York City tri-state area will not see a direct hit from Jose Tuesday or Wednesday. When does it make the turn? If it makes a turn later and later in the forecast period and then moves north, we'll have a problem. But right now, the thinking is that that storm will start to make that northerly turn. It's moving northwest right now between 8 and 10 miles an hour, sometime later today into tonight. I'm tracking the longitude of this thing. It's, it's, a, it's a very, um, what we can say, pinpoint forecast and how far west by the latitude it goes, okay? Let's take a look right now at the tropical track. And what this shows you is all of the um, tropical computer models and what's happening. Folks, they're very concise. It's, they're all expecting it to make that northerly turn. But again, does it happen in a few hours, in six hours? Does it happen tomorrow? If it does happen tomorrow, you can shift this entire line west 100 miles. It doesn't, you know, specifically, I don't know exactly, but it depends on when it makes that north, northerly turn. Look at all the models. Some do a little loop. Some are a little east. Here's 70 west. So the storm is west of 70 west, and when that happens, I'm concerned until the storm gets north of our latitude. You never let your guard down with, a, with an approaching hurricane, especially west of 70 west, that longitude in the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. Period of the story. And I've told people that. So the storm with a tropical track takes it up, and it moves north as a hurricane, and the National Hurricane Center track 85 miles an hour today, uh, we get it up to 85, 85, so it remains a category one. Up north, west of 70, west. Tuesday, hurricane. Wednesday morning, up and off the mid-Atlantic and the New Jersey Long Island coast, the cone of uncertainty clipping eastern Long Island. Clipping it, okay? That's the cone of uncertainty. The actual 
cone of uncertainty extends well out to the east of there. So most of the metropolitan area is not in that cone of uncertainty. Some great news. The storm should become a tropical storm. What's going to happen is the wind field, it's going to become a large hurricane with the expansion of the wind field um, over the next couple of days. So tropical storm watches may be needed for the Outer Banks of North Carolina for, uh, let's say, uh, they, go, may, they may go into effect this evening or this afternoon. It means a watch, tropical storm watch, because the expansion of tropical storm force winds will extend outward more and more as we go through time. They may extend outward three, 350 miles by the time it gets closer to our latitude. That's why coastal areas right now, obviously we have to watch this system. One thing is for sure, we will see rough surf, dangerous riptides, and beach erosion because there'll be a high pressure to the north and it will be a strong northeasterly fetch. So what are we expecting the next couple of days around here? Here's your uh, five-day forecast. This weekend, the last weekend of summer, is going to be beautiful. Um, if you, hit the, you may want to hit the beach. I mean, ocean water temperatures within a few degrees of 70. Just be careful. Rip currents are out there already from Jose. 80 today. This is the New York City, New Jersey, Connecticut, obviously, five-day forecast. Tomorrow is going to be a familiar forecast. Temperatures in the upper 70s. Just a gorgeous weekend, folks. The last weekend of summer. Okay. Monday, a nice start. Right now, we're putting it in the forecast. Um, potential Jose effects, exactly where does it make that northerly turn will make all the difference in the world. So we have to monitor the situation over the next 24 to 48 hours. Right now, it does not look like a direct hit. I'm including coastal showers, gusty winds with that track as we see it right now. Cone of uncertainty, most of the area, it's east of us, clipping eastern Long Island. And that makes sense right now. So I agree with the National Hurricane Center. Um, you can always get an updated forecast at www.johnmarshallweather.com, and um, we'll be here this weekend to continue to update you. And if anything changes dramatically, I'll come on sooner. Folks, enjoy the weekend. It is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Take care.